I have a quick quiz for you. What do you need for your car to run? Petrol, diesel, sometimes electricity. That's what you call your car's fuel. But have you ever wondered what is the fuel of your voice? In the previous episode, we got to know about the meaning of the term voice. But did you know that in the human body, voice is produced in three stages. First is the respiratory stage, second phonatory stage and third is the resonatory stage. In this episode, we'll be focusing on the first stage that is the respiratory stage. Okay, now the answer to my previous quiz question was breath. Breath is the fuel of your voice. Breath is a part of the process of respiration. So during respiration, what happens is you breathe in air or you inhale and then you breathe out air or you exhale. Voice is instinctively produced only and only when you're exhaling or breathing out air. Dry knocking when you're inhaling air. Oh my God, it's so difficult and it's so energy consuming. All right. So the most important organ for this part, this stage of voice production is your lungs. So when you're breathing in, the air is kind of stored and processed in your lungs. And when you're breathing out, the lungs contract and the air is pushed out. Now this air then travels uh, through your windpipe and only and only when you're planning to speak this air then pushes through your vocal folds and makes it vibrate with its pressure. So what is the function of your breath and voice production? One is that it provides the push or the pressure for the vocal folds to vibrate and second is it provides your voice with sustenance. If you have a very good command or if you have a very good control over your exhalation, the amount of air that you exhale, then you will see how your voice will also extend for a longer time. But if you have a shallow kind of breath, then what happens is you end up talking very hastily or you talk in breaks. This being said, some people believe that when you breathe in through your nose, that is when the air will enter your lungs and when you breathe in through your mouth that is when the air will enter your stomach now this is a very 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 wrong belief you can breathe in from anywhere and the air will still go into your lungs the occasional air that comes out of your stomach is in the form of a burp and that is not counted as breath but why is it that many a time when you breathe in your stomach inflates. Well, it's not your stomach which is inflating. It's the lower part of your lungs that is expanding. This happens when you take in a deep breath. That's when your lower lung expands and the whole of your lung, the whole of your lung capacity is used in that breath. This is also called as diaphragmatic breathing. Opposed to diaphragmatic breathing, is thoracic breathing wherein you are just using the upper part of your lungs in breathing. This kind of thoracic breathing or shallow breath happens in human beings a because they are sometimes nervous or anxious or tensed. What happens is the muscles of your abdomen they kind of tighten when you are in stress and that makes only the upper part of your lungs open to breathing. B it can happen if you have asthma or bronchitis or any other lung infection and see it happens in people who are pregnant. The voice produced by shallow breathing won't last long and even if it does manage to sustain your voice in the short term, it can prove to be very bad for your vocal health in the long term. So that's it. In today's episode, we learnt about the respiratory stage of voice production and in the next episode, we will be learning about the phonetry stage.